It's very early in the morning. I woke up, but there's no one here. Where did Anton and Dima go? It's very early now. Let's get a look. Oh, nuclear test site. They are not here. They aren't there either. Oh, they're there. They sleep on the road, imagine. Look, our bikes are in place. Well, it's fun here. Next goose building. We are cold, but why? Because Anton said that his sleeping bag was too heavy. So he didn't take it. Now he freezes every night. Good morning. Anton, how is it? The sun is too hot. Too much? Yes. This is interesting. Zarkant is there. Wow, I even overheated in the sun. But it's cold here. Is this a tick? Oh, it's really a tick. I am not kidding. On my jacket too. Look. Might. But I threw it off. For real. Anton, this is a tick, right? It's a tick, yes. Guys. Mama Mia, there's another one here, but it's small. Wow. Is this also a tick? And there's another one. Yes. And they are in our tent. We need to check ourselves. Let's crush them with something. How? So, Chebyarashka's secret dream has come true. Here he is at the nuclear test site. Here are the remains of that dry ration. We want to eat this early, early in the morning today. Anton took a super combustible match. We will eat against the backdrop of goose building. It's very easy to light. Yes, it's windy here. Something hisses unpleasantly. What's wrong, Anton? Look how disgusting this is. <laughs> no reaction. Strange. Try it from the side. Let's try it from the side. Was this the last one? No. It's a good thing there are enough matches here, otherwise we wouldn't be able to light this. It is clear that some composition is burning out there. And then this. Great! Ready! Come on! Burn! In short, to light it, it takes practice. Now we put beef meat on top with green peas and carrots. Now we are waiting for our candle to burn out. Let's put the second one then too. Oh no! Only one burner! Let's put two stones. This, and the fuel below. Like this. Doesn't fall? So cool, I take a pill, wow, how delicious. No, you can't eat this, this needs to be set on fire. We only have two matches left. You need to rub it here and there so that it warms up evenly. Dry alcohol begins to evaporate and burn actively. And burn actively, why aren't you burning? Rest assured, we have one more match, the last one. Like in that movie, The Fifth Element. We have everything in real conditions. Come on, so it shouldn't go out. I'll do this. Don't waste energy. There seems to be something here. I think it's about to catch fire. Holy moly, it didn't catch fire. Give it to me then. The process has begun. Does not burn. I dip it in the fire, but it doesn't light up. Let's light this with a lighter, like normal people. Oh no, the lighter is bad. Come on. It's so hard to start a fire. No, nothing difficult. The wind gets in the way. You won't believe me, but it's on fire. It's really on fire. I place stones and place our dish on them. Went out. So strange. Put it there? Yes. I changed the dish and changed the plate. Yes. Let's tweak this a little. What's there, Anton? Meat with peas. Wow. Dangerous thing. Try this. Do you like it? It is delicious. It's made from meat. It's with peas. This is a broth. 8 out of 10. I like it. You know, it got really hot. Maybe because of the wind, but there is still not enough energy. 
Mmm. Well, yes, delicious. Seems to be pretty high quality. But probably still 7 out of 10, or even 6. There is no wow effect here. Not super tasty. Dima, try this. Maybe you just don't like peas. Very bad. No, that's the only thing that tastes good here. I rated a 3 because of the peas. Okay guys, I like it. So guys, look how it burned out. Shaped like a mushroom. Look, it's being pulled in. Why? Look. Vacuumed. There is one piece of stew. Let's try this. It heated up perfectly. Is it true? Do you like the taste of this? 10 of 10. No way, I can't believe. This is meat. How can you rate this poorly? Quality. The broth is great too. It is delicious. Without pepper 9, and with pepper 10. It is very convenient to put all the remaining garbage directly into the same box. What is it? Biologically active food supplement. Why didn't we eat it? I wonder why they put it there. All in all, an unremarkable tablet. Vitamin B mineral complex. This will probably give me energy. So, is it bitter? No taste at all. Well, I hope that this will give us something. We won't use water disinfectant either. But I would throw it into the water in which we drink. Let's test the water tablet. In fact, it is such a very small tablet. Let's carefully, no, we won't eat it, but we'll throw it here. Done. Done. Now you need to shake it carefully. It will dissolve itself. Let's screw it tightly. During the ride it will mix and disinfect. Guys, every day we get in touch via satellite phone, because there are people who are waiting for us, there are people who are ready to ensure us, to come to the rescue if something happens. The satellite system is called Taraya. The Kazakh SIM card is inserted here, it's special, and we have 10 units, which will last exactly 10 minutes. A very powerful antenna gives a very powerful signal, we always point to the southwest, because somewhere there, there is a satellite. So the network is good, but it takes time, where is the signal? Let's wait. It's ready? Ready. There is a connection. This is a very cool thing, very useful. So guys, I recommend this. Yes, it's expensive. But believe me, once you buy such a device, and this is for life. But it's better to go straight to Starlink. Only this is prohibited here in Kazakhstan. So guys, we're hitting the road again. Today we will have more interesting objects in this experimental field. Anton starts, it is very difficult for him to start, his clutch is slipping. For some unknown reason, my clutch stopped slipping altogether. Strange things happen to these bikes. Great, Anton is turned on. I hear this sound. Anton, what is your mood when the engine is running? Excellent. We are going to the very epicenter of a nuclear explosion. We will now conduct a scientific experiment. Using a special spectrograph dosimeter, we will determine which substances, which isotopes there emit radiation. It's so black, mamma mia. There was a fire here. The nuclear fire was raging here. So powerful that it even burned concrete. This is the last goose before the epicenter. This melted the most. It's even cracked, but still intact, because this concrete is very powerful. We are approaching the epicenter. Now we will take the spectrum. That is, to find out what kind of dangerous substances remain here. No one does that, but we park on contaminated land. Because there is a special mat here. Let's take the dosimeter. And we need some piece of paper, Anton, maybe tear it off the bottle? The dosimeter cannot be placed directly on an infected object. We are looking for that very stone, and a special application will help us with this. I see that the situation is not very good now. Already 200. The stone was here somewhere. Oh, no. Look, Kurgolite. 
Oh, this kirtalite is very radioactive. More than a thousand. In short, this is a new mineral that is formed during the explosion of atomic bombs. When the earth is fused, you get this kind of nonsense, molten pieces of earth. Look what it looks like. But the most important thing is radiation, more than a thousand at once. It's strange that there are lizards here. How do they survive here? Concrete design. No radiation. 100 total, even less than background. Even if you go underground, you can't escape the shock wave. This thing has a strange light. The same radiation drops when I measure it. Mama Mia, 400. There is very high radiation here. More one piece of kergolite is stable 1200 somewhere. I put protective foil and a dosimeter on top. Why is that? Because you can contaminate the dosimeter, and then all readings will be inaccurate. I do this. I won't stand here long. Now I go to the application. The peaks are immediately visible here, but we won't focus on that. Let's leave this here for about 15 minutes, and we'll move to a safe distance. The phone will also have to be left here, because the specter's readings are recorded in this. I'm putting it on this grass. I hope it's not radioactive. That's all. I don't want to lay it on the ground, because it produces a lot of noise. Let's move away. Look guys, the whole ground is strewn with these shiny pebbles that look like resin. Everything is caked in there. Molten soil after an atomic explosion. And this is precisely what causes a lot of noise. Here's another one like this. Here's another one, look. Another one. Right here in this place, do you see this funnel? There was this tower, which is drawn here. To this end, the first atomic bomb was lifted using a special elevator. If I'm not mistaken, this is exactly what is depicted. They put a ton of equipment here. You can see here aviation, different buildings, goose buildings. There were cows, horses, pigs, all the animals, there were tanks. Everything was there. The houses are ordinary, also multi-story. They put a lot of money into it. In short, they used an elevator to lift a bomb there and detonate it. The explosion was so powerful that, look, do you know what's in the distance? Yes, these are bridge supports. The bridge was thrown back very far. It was torn off and carried away. And what do we see here? Another one. If I'm not mistaken, this one was a railway one. This too was demolished. In short, the explosion turned out to be even more powerful than expected. Now look what you can see here. This is the flag of America. It seems to me that America is mocking the power of the USSR. I don't know how to put it more gently. This disgrace is the flag of Kazakhstan, being next to the Kazakh coat of arms. Like Kazakhstan has disarmed, this is like on the path to peace. Then let America disarm too. On the way to peace, this way. It looks strange, considering what happened here and what kind of people worked here. Yes, we are America and we disarmed Kazakhstan. We are so cool. It looks like this. I don't want to sound stuffy guys because I don't know a lot of things about this. I say what I think. Perhaps my thoughts are wrong. So you should also correct your correct opinion, if anyone even knows what's going on. Write in the comments, I will read it. In short, it seems to me that this is a little wrong. This flag should not hang here. It looks better this way. Much more interesting and better. Another picture. Cool. Alga Kazakhstan. There is no talk of disarmament here. What are you talking about? This means that they helped clear the experimental field. Just like they helped cleanse Japan. Here, bringing it to a safe state. Let us help you clean up Japan. Take these two nuclear bombs. So guys, 15 minutes have passed. Our spectrum has now accumulated. Let's see what we got. You have to walk carefully here, because everything around is very radioactive. That's what's happening here. The peaks are clearly visible. We'll send this to the experts. There's something here. Let them see what it is. Something tells me that this is what it is. This is strontium, perhaps. 590. I do not know what is this. Anyway, we decided to explore the epicenter a little more. There are two fused dotas here. These are long-term firing points. Now we will see what such nuclear power did to this. What about radiation? Is it cleaner there? There's 180. Oh, holy moly. Okay, let's go. 200. It's increasing. It's increasing. 250. 300. 
We are entering the funnel. 330. 200. There's less here. Apparently there was an outlier. Apparently they buried a crater here, so it's clean here. You know, radiation. 400. Or we're going too fast. But it's a lot. 500. Protection. 600. Damn, what's going on? There's melted soil here. Pieces of it. Be careful not to get it in your shoes. There's a lot of this. Look, you can measure. Measure here. 800. This gives the background. 1,000. Go ahead. Let's not stop. The radiation is very high. Measure there. What is this? What was here? 1,400. Really? I don't know what was here. It's all melted and very noisy. Let's go faster. Elevate your feet well so it doesn't get into your shoes. The background is too high. This is too much. Even for Chernobyl this is a lot. It's still dangerous here. 700. If at this altitude it's 700, then it's truly terrifying. It's horrible. Yes, such a nightmare. Imagine how strong that blast wave was. Look how the concrete has collapsed. And horses graze here. Oh my god. Look. It's really strange. That is, the blast wave went straight inside. Look how these iron things came out. This is true. It's just in a terrible state now. Let's climb inside? Yes. Let's see what's inside. Let's measure this. Yes, measure it. Black first. What about white? A little. Let's go inside. We are going. And here? Look what's inside. No, it's even 60 here. We can spend the night here. 50, 60, yes. Class. Imagine what happened here during a nuclear explosion. Horror. Holy moly, this is so terrible. Everything is destroyed there. It is located only 150 meters from the epicenter. That is, here was the most power. 18. Hydraulics. Holy crap. Horror. There too. There's a way out. Truth. Spare? Yes. Let's go there. Let's go out. Where is the exit? There's some kind of hatch here. Here is nine. Nine? Only nine? Look. Look how well the bunker blocks radiation. It's hard to get through here. But it's cool here. It's so good. And the background is good too. Look. Mamma mia. Much higher. It beeps. Excess. 80. Do you hear? 80. Guys, the police have arrived. Imagine, they left? No. These are tourists. Fine. In short, horror. We are wearing masks. We are a scientific research group. Yes. What about the bunker? Let's go there. Our things are there. Let's go. Let's talk to them. Calmly. But who are they? They came straight to us. As if something was painted on the car. Maybe someone called them. Yes. Are they military? Yes. Wow, is it okay to shoot them? You can for now. What's wrong? Are we collecting spectrum analysis? Yes. What is this? Yes, due to very high radiation. But why did it work now? Too noticeable. Stop filming? No. It's just, it's probably security. It's a patrol. Like in pre -Piet. But if we knew there was a patrol here, we would have hidden the bikes. They could see us with binoculars. Yes, it is possible. Maybe they are guarding the obelisk there? Maybe. Play dumb. Do they have machine guns? Should I stop filming? Yes. Good afternoon. I'm from the police. Hello. Do you know what this territory is? Restricted area. This is a restricted area. You need permission to be here. We didn't know this. We drove here freely. Where were you coming from? In Kachata. From the atomic lake. Yes. We're on bikes. Can I take your data? Certainly. Yes. Sure. Move away. Give me your documents. Identification. You know, it looks like they haven't noticed the flag yet. It broke at such a bad time. 
Oh, I see. Done, I helped you. If they ask you to leave, then we will leave. Yes. We've already done almost everything. Please excuse me, we didn't know this and came here freely. You've already detained us. Can we stay here a little longer? Of course not. Heading out. Great. Fine. No questions. Where do you live? I. In Astana. Granite. Granite. What are they? They are tourists. There are probably a lot of looters here? We see that everything here is destroyed. 70 microroemkin per hour is now radiation. Do you ride here every day? A little to the left of the monument. Did you see black stones there? Their radiation reaches 1400. I didn't even know how to go to you. Maybe with your hands raised, like in the movies. Did you take anything for yourself? There is nothing. I'll check. Yes, sure. Uh -huh. Here is our gasoline, for bikes. This is a tent. Glasses. Clothes and food. Garbage. Rug. We even take our trash with us. Good job. Fine. Let's start with mine. Drill, adjustable wrench. Bikes break. Yes, on the road. I got you. Only tools. I'll open every pocket. Here are things. A vest, to be visible at night. There are also things here. A windbreaker. Underpants. Raincoat. Okay, move on. Sleeping bag. Sleeping mat. Where did you stay in Kerchatovo? We are driving from Semipalatinsk through the nuclear lake. We have not been to Kerchatovo. We'll go there now. This is the finish line. Here are the clothes. Did you collect iron here? There is nothing. <laughs> Clothing and protective glasses against radiation. Good, good. Then get on the road. Should we follow you? We've been caught. It seems like there won't be a fine, as I understand it. First warning. Yes, first warning. Oh, here's our water. Yes, but we urgently need to leave this place. And if we appear here a second time, it will be very bad. I think they saw us through binoculars and came here. Come here. Yes. Let me see your passports. Give me your number. Okay. Do they do any tours here? To officially come here? To be honest, we didn't even know. Well, there are ways. Truth. How to get permission? In Semipolatinsk. Through the Kuchetov. Through the Kuchetov. Will they take us away? Yes, and they will release you. Then get on the road. We're leaving, brother. Okay. You see, he asked if we had metal, apparently so that we don't take anything. Aluminum, copper, wire. They will probably accompany us from behind. But this is not a fact. It was awkward, right? Should we go right or left? In Kerchetov. I think left. Let's ask them. This seems to be correct. Do you need to go left? Yes, to the left. Yes, it looks like they will follow us all the way. Imagine to make sure that we definitely left the training ground. Wow, yes guys, but I didn't expect it to be protected, because we asked the stalkers, and they said that access here is free. They caught us on the 4th, our last day, but they arrived on time. And it's good that we chose the route from this side. 
Since we drove from the nuclear lake, they didn't see us. If we had stopped by from Kerchedov, they would have contacted us immediately. It's 60 miles to Kerchedov. The main thing is not to break, otherwise there will be content. Long story short, my rear wheel jammed. But why? I don't know. Can I remove this, or is it not worth it yet? No need. So, guys, this is, of course, very funny. But there are patrolmen, like military men, driving behind us. They caught us, and now they are taking us to Kerchetov. They will process us there. Fully. Sasha broke down on the way. We tied him to a rope. Now I'll try to remove it carefully. I hope you saw something. In short, we have a lot of fun. That's it, we're going far. We no longer have a chance to return here, because they have already recorded our data. We were accompanied by one car. But then we stopped and were handed over to another car. And now we are being taken to the city of the Kercheta, to the police station. They will talk to us. If you see a patrol car driving behind you, who would have thought that this territory was protected? We did not know. We were told that everything is fine there, ride as much as you want, but we are not upset. Still, it was a cool, exciting journey. Hello mom. Well, in short, here's what happened. The three of us rode, we drove for a long time, but we never got to Kercheta. Dima is riding there. A UAZ has just been stopped. And the police asked the driver to load Sasha's bike. Sasha also broke down. Now Sasha is driving an UAZ to the police station. I'm also riding in the car. The guys allowed me to load my bike here, right into the cabin. This is because my rear wheel broke in half. This is actually the first time I've seen this. Well, my engine also started to break down. And now look, I'm going under prison. So to speak. I'm kidding, of course, everything is fine, don't worry. Yes, we had a great ride here. These two weeks will be the most luxurious of my life. The places in Kazakhstan are, of course, amazing. So guys, we are at the police station in Kazakhstan. We've never had anything like this before. Horror. We wrote an explanatory note. Now we are waiting for Dima. Class. So, Sasha, open the door. This is all. We are free. We are free. We are free. Guys, we are free. With our bags. Free. Mama Mia. Have you seen where they put criminals? In what a terrible place. Have you seen these cells and these bars? These were the bunks where we ended up. Imagine, Julia wrote to me, like, aren't they beating you there? Are your arms and legs intact? Like, what's wrong with you there? How do they treat you there? I heard her ask, are you talking to her? Yes, she asked if I was speaking for myself or if I was being forced to. In short, guys, the final point of Kerchetov. We are kind of here. But how we got here is, of course, a different story. It's a shame that we couldn't film much of it. Bikes broke down very seriously. You just have no idea. In my opinion, these 40 miles had the maximum number of breakdowns during the entire trip. Do you know what happened? This is not never happened. Anton's wheel just folded in half. Not like an 8, but like the letter L. It just got dented. And it was the most reliable wheel. My hub just went crazy. It creaked so much all the way. The bike was shaking so much from this creaking. I thought it would break into pieces. The wheel was jammed, went down. There was also something wrong with the spark plug. And in the end, Anton and I completely broke down. And we left only at the expense of the police. They took us out. But we gave you this mega cool nuclear content. So, guys, please like. Now times are so hard, and likes really promote videos. And we want more people to see our crazy, 
cool journey. And write a comment, where should we go next time? Maybe you know some interesting places. And, by the way, Dima. Why me? High five. You are a mega cool subscriber of the Creason channel. We were incredibly glad to see you on our team. Yes, guys, different things happened. I don't know whether Sasha puts on these shots or not, where Dima and I were very angry at each other. And they swore a lot. That was terrible, but it was due to fatigue. In fact, everything is fine, you don't have to worry. On hikes, people simply get tired of each other and need to rest. Dima and I simply went to different corners of the step, put down rugs, and slept. And now everything is fine with us again. Important information, if you want to go on your next trip with the Creason team, see crazy, interesting, forbidden objects, and just relax with us and chat, just like Dima. He's just an ordinary spectator. Then subscribe to my Instagram. The link will be in the description. I will conduct a thorough analysis and choose one. Maybe we'll even choose a few, right? We took one to Pripyat. And now we have one. We'll choose a few viewers to go on a wild ride. Link in description. Subscribe. Hello everyone. Subscribe to my TikTok. But overall it was a great trip. I liked it very much. So be sure to follow Anton so that if you are lucky, you can go with them on your next trip. You like it? I liked it very much. No disappointments. I wasn't disappointed at all. That is, I got more of a spectrum of emotions than I even expected. There could have been several. Really, you'll probably never experience something like this anywhere else in your life. We are professionals. We can do it. See you soon. That's how it ended our mission. Guys, learn how to hide flash drives and hide material from the police. I'll cry if anything happens to this. Why is that? There is no reason to panic here. Normal flash drives will not melt. It's the same ignition where the temperature does not rise above 100 degrees. Do you think it will melt there? No. Anton thinks so. I think it's okay. We hit it so well. It seems to me that you have already thought in advance what you will do with this. We thought about how to hide it, because they said they would delete it all. You haven't seen where we hid the phone yet. Imagine, the cops were driving behind us the whole time. Yes, and at one point they apparently got tired of following us, and said that they would wait for us there, in front. Yes. And we immediately slowed down and started hiding the material. Yes. Come on, shine here. Secret place, right? Take it out carefully. Great, good job. In short, this is the bottom of the scooter. We had tanks of gasoline lying here. And under them the battery. The lid was not visible at all. And no one knew that it was not twisted. No one even guessed that something could lie here. Pull it out. It stuck together. Is this okay? Wow, there's something there. Get it out. Pull it. Is this okay? Let me open this up. I just don't know if... Oh, it's glowing. It seems to be working. iPhone 14? Yes, look how we handle the iPhone. So bad. It looks like it's calling someone. Turn it off. This is probably a warning about an accident. I do not know what is this. You have to be careful not to let the module come off. Mama Mia. I wonder if the screen will be okay or not. <laughs> After such shaking. The battery was knocking from above all this time. It seems to be okay. Cameras are okay. The most important thing is if the material is intact. How we hung out at the training ground guys. It's all for you. Everything is great. I see everything. Look. Videos are waiting for you. Salt Lake. Yes. That's it. We have such a team. And everything in the trash needs to be restored.